Joe Pietaro here with your Muscle Sport Minute for today. And this episode is brought to you by Goliath Labs Stimuloid Extreme Sexual Stimulant. I used one of these last night and yeah, it fucking works. Go to GoliathLabs.com and uh, make sure you order your Stimuloid, especially in this holiday season where you get a lot of stimulation, hopefully, if you fucking play your cards right. If you don't, then you fucking still not. But hey, Arnold Classic... Invitee list. I was looking at the um, uh, uh, bodybuilding, nine guys. And I have another video I talked about the, you know, where was the 10th, which is Kai Green. So, Fuid Abiad, Lionel Bayeki, Max Charles, Justin Compton, Vitali Faliv, Fativ, excuse me. I'm trying to read off this uh, small uh, sheet on the screen here. Dallas McCarver, Cedric McMillan, Juan Morrell, and Sean Roden. That is a fucking solid lineup. And I look at Sean Roden, and this is a guy who was the runner-up to Phil Heath last year. Phil Heath, this guy here. See, Phil? We don't hate you, Phil. We put you on the cover back in 2012. You're not going to be on the cover anymore. <laughs> we went in a different direction since those early days. But, um, yeah, I look at Sean Roden, uh, Flexitron, a uh, big fan of his. I think he's got a great physique. I really wish he would not try to put on too much size because I think once he did that, it took away from some of his aesthetics that he had. And uh, I, I liked him better when he had more of that V taper. But Sean definitely is a guy you look at at this lineup and you say, yeah, he can definitely win that without a doubt because he is a uh, you know a guy you know, second and third place in the Olympia in the past few years, and he, uh, I think he had a, a fourth place there too. Uh, so you look at him and you say, well, he, he definitely is a guy that can win this show, and he hasn't competed in other shows. He's cons kind of consistently been Olympia and then post-Olympia. To see something prior to the Olympia is a little bit of a surprise, I do have to admit. Uh, I don't think Sean Roden is throwing in a towel as far as winning an Olympia, but I think he wants to win an Arnold. So if he doesn't win an Olympia, at least he has that Arnold uh, you know, on his mantelpiece. Um, uh, look at, I, I look at McCarver and Compton. These are two guys. The future is really bright for them. They could really do a lot of damage here and, uh, and, and place very high. Juan Morel, uh, uh, you know, he won the New York Pro, which is kind of like, uh, I guess, the third highest prestigious show. I'm still not sure. There's too many Arnolds now. It used to be Olympia Arnold, New York Pro. Uh, and now do you go Olympia, Arnold, Ohio, Arnold, uh, Brazil? I mean, which which Arnold is your top Arnold? I would still say Ohio, but after that, where do you go? You go north, south, east, or west, continent-wise. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think Juan Morel could do a, a good job here. He's he's But he's he's got to get his legs up. That's That has been his... Um, his kind of uh, his uh, negative uh, comments on Morel's physique have always been uh, upper body is much better than a lower body. Uh, Bayeki, it's conditioning. He won that show recently in Europe, and uh, he's another guy that if he's on, he could really do very well. Um, so I, I do like those guys. Obviously, Cedric was a very close second last year. So I look at this Arnold with you have a lot of guys that are not in this big gut type of shape. You have a lot of these aesthetic guys that are more streamlined, including a Rodin, including a Juan Morel, Cedric. Uh, McCarver is big, but he gets into shape for a show. He looks good. Same thing with Compton. These are young guys that have a lot of uh, days ahead of them. So I still think that they can stay in that good shape as far as not blowing themselves up and looking, uh, trying to look too too big, you know. Stay the course, guys. Don't don't fucking ruin that nice shape. Max Charles, just a big fucking guy. Abiad, they call him a horse. You know, same thing with him. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see which of these guys. I'm gonna, you know, you're gonna ask me, gun to my head. I go Roden all the way with this one. Obviously, Cedric uh, is going to be a close second as well. I look at the two twelve. Uh, Hiritada Yamagishi. He won last year. Uh, so that's a, a guy that he's defending his title. Um, but David Henry, man, this guy, he's just, he's a former 202 Olympia champion when it was the 202. This is a guy who probably should have had a lot more than the one he won. He should have had more than one. 
Uh, so I look at him as being a type of guy that is always can do damage. He's in great shape. He's getting older, but listen, he's always, you know, that they've, you've been saying that for years about David Henry. Hasn't affected him yet. Jose Raymond, of course, you know, he, he won it a couple of years ago at the Arnold, the 212. Uh, Quincy Winkler, that's Roley's younger brother. Big guy, but, uh, you know, he's, he's uh, I don't see him coming close to winning this. Guy Cisternino was fourth last year. I'd love to see Guy uh, get to the top three this year. Big fan of, I'd love to see Guy win the whole fucking thing. Uh, Greg Valentino and myself are friends with Guy Cisternino, always rooting for him. So the 212 and the uh, open bodybuilding, there is a lot of talent in that uh, in that two uh, lineups. And uh, the ladies lineups, you know, we won't get into it in this video. Maybe we'll, uh, I'll, I'll do another one. But I also wanted to talk about the, uh, the physique where there's going to be... Uh, too many fucking competitors again. But we'll save that for another clip. But make sure you check us out. MuscleSportMag.com slash subscribe. You can get... This is our first print issue, believe it or not. Fall 2012. In 2009, we began the digital version of the magazine. But this is still kind of your uh, your first one in print. You can get this with free U.S. shipping right on MuscleSportMag.com slash store right now.